Fatty liver disease is the most common liver disease and the only treatment is weight loss. It used to be that the leading cause of cirrhosis was excessive alcohol intake. And fortunately now it's obesity. Currently we do not have good treatments for it, but research is promising and ongoing. There are trials ongoing even with GLP-1 medications, but the overall goal is weight loss. So NAFLD is a non-alcoholic fatty liver disease where fat builds up in the liver. NASH is where there's inflammation caused by this fat that's building up in the liver. And then cirrhosis, unfortunately, is scarring and, and, and fibrosis of the liver as a result of fat buildup. According to the American Liver Foundation, unfortunately, um, Hispanics are the highest percentage of individuals suffering from NAFLD at 58% roughly. Caucasians, roughly 44%. Blacks or African Americans, 35%. Cleveland Clinic estimates 20 to 30% of individuals in the United States have excess fat in their liver. Now that you know the stats, you know how likely it is. Um, usually what I recommend is for people to try to advocate for themselves because, again, unfortunately, we don't have really good screening tools. Uh, say that your liver enzymes come back slightly abnormal on your routine blood work. Your doctor may choose to continue to watch it and then pursue an ultrasound if it stays elevated, which at that point you missed out on all that time of preventing uh, further disease. So if you see that your blood work is abnormal and this disease can happen, whether it's normal or abnormal, then please advocate for yourself in requesting a liver ultrasound, particularly with grading so that you can monitor the progress of the disease. Hopefully with weight loss, you can also monitor the regression or improvement of the disease. Our body is very resilient, as is our liver, and it's important to keep an eye on things.